Hello and welcome to the Two Guys channel. I am TJ Washuk, and today we're going to be covering summer movies. Uh, I myself am a avid movie goer, so I'm pretty psyched to what's coming out here in the next following months. Uh, now, summer technically starts around June 21st, but in Hollywood, uh, summer is the first week of May. So while you're out there enjoying Marvel's Infinity War, which was technically going to be a summer movie, but they pushed it uh, forward. Um, here are some movies to consider when trying to beat the heat. First up, we have Terminal, which comes out May 11th. Um, this movie looks a lot like uh, Lock, Stock, and Smoking Barrels-esque. Uh, it is a drama. Uh, it's being directed by a man named Von Stein. Uh, I looked into him as first his, his first real big movie. Uh, he's mostly been an assistant director through his career. But the following actors are going to be in this movie, plus more. Um, there's Margot Robbie. Um, she is on a kick with movies lately. Uh, Simon Pegg, Mike Myers, and Dexter Fletcher, who was actually in Lock, Stock, and Smoking Barrels. Up next, we have Deadpool 2, 2 which comes out <laughs> May 18th. Uh, it's, you know, if you've seen the first Deadpool, you know he's a fourth wall breaking um, comic action hero. So if you're into comic book movies, this would be one for you. Um, this is an action comedy, um, as I said. This one is being directed by David Leach, I believe is how you pronounce his last name. Uh, but he has done V for Vendetta, John Wick movies, and Atomic Blonde. The actors in this are Deadpool, Ryan Reynolds, uh, Josh, Josh Brolin as Cable, TJ Miller, which um, he might die off here from those, uh, from that train incident. Um, and then Marciana Barciani, Bar Mar Marina Barsarin. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Maria Barsarin. Maria Marina Barsarin. Up next is Dead Crime. Ugh. Dead Crimes. Dark Crimes, uh, which comes out May 18th, uh, looks to be a dark, gritty detective movie. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how well it will do, um, but it's going to be, it's a drama. Uh, it's being produced by Saban Films, who has done uh, Power Rangers, so it looks like they're trying to get into movies. Um, directed by Alexandros Avarianas. Uh, it's his first big film, it looks like, from his IMDb page. Uh, but Jim Carrey is coming back in this as the detective. Um, it looks like Martin Chris Goas, I think that's how you pronounce his name, uh, is going to be the villain in this one. Up next we have Solo, a Star Wars story, which comes out May 25th. Um, Disney has been producing summer and winter Star Wars movies so we'll see how this one does um, this one looks to be you know following the same route as Rogue One did it's a story that's a sub chapter of the main story but this is being directed by Ron Howard who has done many films uh, but this is his first Star Wars film and Eldon Elric will be Han Solo, Amelia Clark Ty Newton, Woody Harrelson, and Donald Glover. Followed by that, um, that same day, we got Future World, which comes out May 25th. Um, it looks like Mad Max, Book of Eli, Turbo Kid-esque dystopia future after like a nuclear explosion. So it's very sci-fi fantasy. This one is being directed by James Franco and Bruce Thierry Cheung. Not sure if I pronounced his name right. This one is starring James Franco, uh, Suki Waterhouse, Milia Jovovich, and Snoop Dogg. Milia Jovovich, if you're not familiar, she has done uh, Resident Evil movies. From there, we have Action Point, which comes out June 21st. This one is kind of like a heavyweight American Wet Hot Summer mixed with Bad Grandpa 
style um, comedy. This one's being directed by Tim Kirkby. Um, he's mostly done TV shows and documentaries from what I've seen. Uh, this is starring, of course, Johnny Knoxville, uh, Chris Pontius, which was his friend from the Jackass days, and then we got Bridget Lundy Payne, uh, child, new child actor that's up and coming. From there, on June 8th, we got Oceans 8. Um, so if you're a fan of the Ocean series, uh, I would say Spy or Bridesmaids, even stretching it. Um, but it's a comedy, action comedy type of movie. Um, this is being directed by Gary Ross. Gary Ross, he has directed Big, Pleasantville, and the first Hunger Games. Uh, this has a huge cast of female actresses. There's Sandra Bullock, uh, Kate Blanchett, Anne Hathaway, uh, Helena Bonham Carter, and many more. Followed by that, on June 8th, we have Hearts Beat Loud. This one is a teen uh, music film. Uh, kind of has a feel like Easy A type of humor. It is being directed by Brett Haley, who is an indie filmmaker, and this is, you know, pretty much an indie film. Um, the actors in this, Nick Offerman, Kiersey Clemens, Tony Collette, and Ted Danson. Also on the 8th, the June 8th, is a new horror movie coming out, uh, which looks like a psychological mindfuck. Um, this one is being directed by Ari Aster. Uh, first big movie uh, for this guy. Uh, the actors in this is Tony Collette, Gabriel Byrne, and Alex Wolf. Now for a lighter note, we have Criminals 2 coming out June 15th. Uh, so if you are the fan of the original or a Pixar fan, uh, this is a great animated movie. I'm sure it will be a hit. Uh, it's being directed by Brad Bird. Brad has done numerous amount of um, children's movies. The Iron Giant, uh, The First Incredibles, and uh, Ratatouille. Returning actors, uh, Craig T. Nelson, Holly Hunter, Samuel Jackson, and also the children who played their characters. And we got a comedy coming out on June 15th called Tag. Uh, this looks like a goofy humor type of movie, movie kind of like a game night that came out earlier this year. This one is being directed by Jeff Tomsick, and I believe it's his first big movie. Uh, actors in this are Ed Helms, Jake Johnson, Hannibal Burris, John Hamm, and Jeremy Renner. Followed by a tag, we have Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, which comes out June 22nd. Uh, if you are a big fan of Jurassic World or Jurassic Park, this is going to be a movie for you. Uh, this one is being directed by J.A. Boana. Uh, J.A. has directed um, The Orphanage and The Impossible, which were kind of like indie movies, um, or which are indie movies, rather. Um, so this is first big movie for this guy, but The Orphanage was a horror, so maybe... With his directing skills from that, he's going to put it towards making this a little more scarier. Uh, but the actors in this movie are Chris Pratt, uh, Bryce Dallas Howard, and probably some more. Followed by that, we have a interesting one. Uh, <laughs> this one's called Izzy Gets the Fuck Across Town, which comes out June 22nd. I think if you liked Young Adult... Um, or like strung out self-destructive movies, <laughs> this would be a comedy drama for you. Directed by Christian Papernick. No big movies that I saw on um, Christian's resume, but the actors in this, um, Mackenzie Davis, um, she's doing great. She's uh, What I see at first saw her in was Cult and Catch Fire, um, but since then she has been in... Um, Black Mirror and also Blade Runner. Um, Aaliyah Shawkat, um, Haley Joel Osment, 
the guy from Signs, and then Carrie Coon. On June 29th, we have Sicario Dave Soldado. Um, if you like Sicario, the first one, Dirty Harry, or Country for Old Men type of movies, I think you would uh, you will enjoy this one. Um, this one's being directed by Stefano Solima. Uh, he mostly has done uh, Italian seri TV series. So, um, we'll see how this goes. Uh, the actors in this returning, uh, Benicio Del Toro, uh, Josh Brolin, um, followed by Catherine Keener and Isabella Moner. Um, up next we have a Marvel movie, Ant-Man and the Wasp, which comes out July 6th. Uh, if you are a fan of, you know, the original Ant-Man, Paul Rudd, uh, the MC MCU movies, you probably will like this one. Uh, this was being directed by... Peyton Reed, who has directed Bring It On, as also the first Ant-Man. Uh, actors in this are Paul Rudd, Michael Douglas. Up next, we have a comedy that looks uh, pretty off the wall. Uh, comes out. It's called Sorry to Bother You, and it comes out July 6th. Uh, this one's being directed by Boots Riley. Uh, first big movie for Boots. Uh, actors in this are Keith Stainfield, who has grown in popularity um, in the Hollywood as of late, uh, Tessa Thompson, Terry Crews, and Stephen Yoon, Walking Dead star. On the 13th of July, we have 8th grade. Uh, this one I'm looking forward to. Uh, it looks kind of like a, you know, behind the scenes of what it is to be in 8th grade uh, in the eyes of a female teen um, coming of age movie. Uh, this is being directed by Bo Burnham, uh, his first, well, written and directed, and it's his first major film. Um, you, you maybe know him from YouTube or his stand-up that's on uh, Netflix. Uh, the actors in this um, is Elise Fisher, who is the main character, Josh Hamilton, and Emily Robinson. Up next is a comedy. Um, comedy drama. It's supposedly based on a true story. It's called Don't Worry, He Won't Get Far on Foot, which comes out July 13th. Uh, supposedly it's being, it's based off a true story. Um, this one is being produced by Amazon Studios, which um, have been, you know, pumping that money towards major motion pictures as of late. Uh, this is being directed by Gus Van Sant, who has directed Milk and Finding Forrester. Uh, the actors in this one are pretty strong. We have Joaquin Phoenix, Jonah Hill, Muna Mariah, and Jack Black. Followed by that, we have Equalizer 2, which comes out July 20th. Uh, if you have seen the first one, um, definitely will probably want to see this one uh, if you haven't seen the first one you know go out there and find it somewhere online or rent it um, if you can um, this movie is kind of like a John Wick movie for Denzel Washington fans uh, it's directed by or Anthony Fukuya uh, Anthony has done Magnificent Seven Training Day and Shooter actors in this one are uh, Denzel Washington of course Ashton Sanders, Pedro Pascal, Bill Pullman, and Melissa Leo. Followed by that, we have Summer Nights, which comes out July 28th. It is a dark team drama, looks like to me. Uh, this one's being directed by Elijah Bynum. I think that's how the name. Uh, first big movie for Elijah. Uh, actors in this, Timothy Chalamet. Micah Monroe, Thomas Jane, William Fincher, and M.R.I. Cohen. Followed by Summer Nights, we have Darkest Minds, which comes out August 3rd. This one is, I believe, produced by the same people that do Stranger Things. Um, looks kind of like an X-Men attack the block type of movie, so a mystery, suspense, sci-fi. This one's being directed by Jennifer... Yu Nelson. Uh, Jennifer has done Kung Fu Panda 2 and 3. 
Actors in this include Mandy Moore, Amanda Stenberg, and Harris Dickinson. From there, we have a comedy uh, called The Spy Who Dumped Me, which comes out August 3rd. Kind of looks like it's going to be similar to like Spy, uh, maybe even Charlie's Angels. Um, but it's being directed by Susan Susanna Fogel, first big movie for Susanna. Actors in this include uh, Amelia Kunis, Kate McKinnon, Justin Trudeau, and Sam Hewen. We have Mile 22, which comes out August 3rd. Uh, looks kind of like a mindless action uh, replacement for Fast and the Furious, because there isn't one this year. Uh, looks to be, you know, an action thriller. Uh, this one's being directed by Peter Berg. Peter Berg is known for The Rundown, Friday Night Lights, and Lone Survivor. Actors in this include Mark Wahlberg, Yuko Uyas, um, Yuko Uyas, sorry if I mispronounced that, uh, Ronda Rousey, John Malkovich, and Lauren Cohen. Alright, last but not least, we have Replicas, which comes out August 24th. Um, this one looks to be a sci-fi thriller, kind of like uh, matrix -y, um Frankenstein <laughs> type of movie. Uh, it's being directed by Jeffrey Nakmanoff, Nakmanoff, who has done movies such as Traitor and The Day After Tomorrow. Actors in this include Keanu Reeves, Alice Eve, and Thomas Middleditch. And that's going to do it for summer movies. Uh, I just want to thank you for watching this video. I'm going to try to put out some more videos. I know had a little of a slow output on our videos as of late, but uh, I'm working to get back into that and produce more content. So as always, please rate, or can't rate anymore, so like, comment, and subscribe to this, and I will catch you later. Peace.